Well, this is a bit of sad news. And once again, it shows how Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive, whatever the hell their parent company is, suck dick when it comes to mods. As you all know, or as anyone knows who plays PC games and does modding of any game, the guys over at Rockstar have never been really friendly with mods and modders. They've gone out of their way to always be dickish. They made sure the game was a pain in the ass to mod, to, for starters. If you used a reshade, it was always like up in the air that you could get banned for something that stupid. But this is another nail in the coffin for douchery from a big company. We've seen many great PC mods for Grand Theft Auto V, but this one in particular captured the headlines lately, and that is the Dot White's port of sorts for the Red Dead Redemption to Grand Theft Auto V. And here's what's iffy about the whole thing. It wasn't like they were porting the full game. They were just porting the map and some assets. That's it. It's not like they're porting GTA 5. Like, what did it matter? Why did Rockstar have to put the kill on this? Like, I just can't see a point to it. I, I guess I could kind of see a little bit if they put the band hammer down because, uh, you know, they were going to put the entire game on there and do what Rockstar should have done years ago, which was port fucking Red Dead Redemption to PC. God knows people would have bought it. Fuck, Grand Theft Auto V made more money on PC than they did on consoles, but what the fuck? Suddenly, a few hours ago, after the mod's official trailer was ripped off of YouTube, everyone's fears became a reality. Uh, Rockstar reached out to the guys at Dot White, and here is a quote from one of the members. And here it is. I know this is a hard pill to swallow, but as you may have noticed, we did get contacted, and we have to sadly say we're stopping the project. So thanks, guys. We were also happy to see this, but it isn't going to happen. Sorry. They then, for the record, clarified that it was never going to be a PC port, it was just going to be the map. Undertaking this sort of project with additional content ported over was never feasible. We were only going to get a way to convert the map with both legal copies of each game and some custom script and additional content. There was never any intention or mention of either a port to story over from Red Dead Redemption to Grand Theft Auto V. But, per as usual, Rockstar just decided to be douchebags about it. Of course, this is probably Rockstar take to his corporate side, ensuring that Red Dead Redemption is played on the intended platforms. However, if only they had ported the game to PC, this project wouldn't have had any reason to exist. For now, the only way to play Red Dead Redemption on PC is still with PlayStation Now streaming service, which is like $8 a month. And yeah, it's not like they stream it and it's like 4K and 60 FPS. No, you're streaming like the original PlayStation version. So you might as well break out your PS3, which I still have. And I still have a copy of Red Dead Redemption for that. The special edition version, you dicks. With Red Dead Redemption scheduled to launch this fall on the PS4 and Xbox One, and most likely Scorpio, the question once again is whether the PC gamers will have to sit this one out too. I highly doubt it with all the money they made off of PC. Like, really. They'll probably wait a year to put it out because they want to optimize it. And let's be honest, they put the best foot forward with GTA 5. But then again, Rockstar learned its lesson from the shitty-ass port of GTA 4. Needless to say, this move was a poor one on Rockstar's part. One, for the simple fact that they've taken forever to port it to PC, and we don't even know if it's going to happen. There were tons of leaks where Rockstar was looking for people to port games to PC, like, uh, a year or two ago. But... It never came to flourishing, whether that would hit. This is shitting in someone's cornflakes, as they put it. This is a slap in the face of anyone who's a PC gamer that has been a longtime Rockstar supporter, including myself. Honestly, it leaves a very bitter taste in my mouth. It's a complete and utter lack of disregard for the creativity of people who are actually passionate about a game that you've done anything with for a whole spectrum of people who are willing to buy the game day one. This will not sit well with many PC gamers. I definitely see a lot of people remembering this when Rockstar inevitably releases Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC, uh, probably a year after it's on consoles. Well, I'm off like a prawn dress. I can't actually give more of a fuck than me. Rate, comment, subscribe if you so choose. If not, that's totally fine. But if you choose to follow me, much like Jesus, you are my apostles, and you will spread my gospel. Long after YouTube crucifies me, fuck.